Welcome. Today I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about SPSS. I'm going to use some kind of faux WASP data and create a data set with SPSS and do some descriptive statistics. So I have already downloaded SPSS to my computer. That takes a little bit of effort, so you'll do that first. And then I'm going to open SPSS. And my, my SPSS has already been opened. So uh, what you see here is the one of the views in SPSS that you can be looking at. There's a data view and a variable view down on the left. The variable view is where you see all of the names of the columns that you are going to put into your data set. And then you're going to fill those columns with the real data that you've collected. So I have, I decided in my WASP um, viewing, I came up with a hypothesis that said maybe WASPs play different roles at the nest and therefore individuals would vary in their behavior at the nest because they're acting in different ways and different roles. And so I decided to, um, for my um, observational data, I decided to look at all four of the different WASPs and measure different behaviors that I saw occurring at the nest on a sort of regular basis. And I came up with, um, I have three or four here that I'm going to type in. So I'm going to have to have a number of columns in my data set. The first column would probably be like the subject column. So uh, the subjects are the four different WASPs. Um, and then there are some different things here that you can, um, that, <laughs> that you need to include. The subject column, it, you can call these numbers, we'll call them by their numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8 because that's the WASP numbers that we had. And these just tell you like how wide do you want the um, column to be. That's okay, we can leave that all the same. Uh, what's important here is probably the measure. The measure can either be a scale, like when you're putting in actual numbers, the number of times WASPs inspected the larva or the time spent at the nest. That would be a scale, no, that would be a scale measure. An ordinal measure would be like um, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, you know, which day are we on or which subject are we on. So I'm going to call this ordinal. The nominal measure would be uh, if I were, for example, com looking at wasps and identifying them as juvenile or adult, I would use maybe uh, the number zero if the animal is a juvenile and the number one if the animal is an adult and I would call that a nominal measure because you, you're either one or the other, okay? But I'm going to call this ordinal because I have four subjects and that's all I have. And that's all I really have to put in for the subject column. Now I also am going to put in my behaviors that I measured. So I'm going to include the number of larval inspections. Larval inspections, okay? It's a, t it's a numeric um, number. Okay, you sometimes can't, you can't type spaces, by the way, in these terms. So if I wrote larval inspections, oh, maybe I can now. Yeah, maybe the, no, yeah, I didn't like my variable name. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to larval inspections. Okay, and uh, this is going to be a scale. Like, I'm just going to have a certain number of times that the animals stuck their head into each one of the larval holes. Now I'm going to include time at nests in seconds. How much time did each wasp spend at the nest? Oh, it includes an illegal character. <laughs> that was the parentheses. Okay, in seconds. <laughs> seconds, okay. And this is a scale variable for sure. Uh, how about number of self-grooming? How number of times they, they seem to groom themselves? self groom Okay, that's a scale. And um, how about the number of times they touched others? Okay, and that's also a scale measure. And let's just say if I wanted to include age. And here I, I wanted to include you know, whether they were juvenile or juvenile or adult or unknown. This would be a nominal measure, and I would have to fill in some values here. 
like I would have to say the value of zero equals juvenile. Okay, I'm going to add that, hit OK, and I'm going to add another value here, the value of one equals adult. Eh, I'm not going to add an unknown. I think I'm just going to put those two in. Add adult. Okay, so I either have to tell you if my animal is a juvenile or an adult. I'm not going to know that. I'm just showing you how I would put that in. All right, now I've got all the columns of uh, information that I want to have. I can always add more. I can come back to the variable view whenever I want to. But now when I go to the data view, you're going to see that I have all of the information that I've just typed in as columns, and they're labeled. Okay, so I have wasp 5, wasp 6. Oh, I didn't like that, did it? Uh, wait, wait, wasp 5? No, it's not liking this. About five. Okay, <laughs> wasp six, wasp seven, and wasp eight. And I didn't like the W's in there. The number of larval inspections that each wasp made. These are the data that I collected. I'm going to stick in my data. I just made some data up. These are not accurate. They should not be, um, they're, they're not what the video showed, so don't use my data. The time that each animal spends at the nest, I'm going to put that in in seconds because I find that easier to deal with than minutes. Okay. The time spent self-grooming, no, the number of times they self-groomed, okay? Because that's not in time, then it's in number of self-groomed events. And the number of times they touched others or interacted with others. And there we go. Okay. Oh, and their age. Okay, well, I don't really know this, so I'm not going to include this in my data set. Now, I've just made a data set in SPSS. Next, I probably want to do some analysis of the data set. This is really a small data set, but that's okay. I, I am going, there are lots of um, the menu buttons up here, and you're going to use an Analyze quite frequently. And there are all sorts of ways that you can analyze the data. What if I just wanted to do some descriptive statistics? Like I wanted to calculate the mean number of larval inspections and the mean time spent at the nest, those kinds of things. Um, I would use the descriptive statistics button, click on descriptives, and there are a number of different options that I can, oh, doesn't tell me which options they are. Uh, okay, so I end up with this, um, menu showing up and what I'll need to do is I need to tell the computer hey which columns of data am I interested in getting descriptive statistics for well I'm kind of interested in getting descriptive statistics for all of these things for the number of larval inspections the time spent at nest the number of times they self groom the number of times um, they touch others and what kind of descriptive statistics are there let's go to the options button Okay, I want the mean for sure, and the standard error of the mean is typically what students in animal behavior will use. This is just a measure of variation around the mean. It tells us how variable the behaviors or the, the, the um, data really are. Okay. So I think that's good. The standard deviation and the standard error of the mean are both measures that, they're both measures of variation. You would use one of them in making a graph, for example. Okay, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to hit OK on this uh, menu item, and I get an output. So now I have a document that outputs all sorts of interesting things, all the descriptive data that I just asked for. Ah, sorry about that. And you can see for my statistics, the sample size is four for all of them, because I had four wasps. And the means for each of the values here are located right here. The mean and the standard error. Those would be the two things that I'd be most interested in. So how many, on average, how many larval inspections did our wasps make? Eight. The standard error is how much variation there is around the mean, and that's pretty big, three and a half. Okay. Time spent at nest, on average 145 seconds, but there's a big range. Right? These are the minimum and maximum statistics here. Um, yep, you can look at self-grooming. On average, they groomed four 
four times during this video, and they touched others eight times. Okay, this is a, our descriptive statistics. I could save this if I wanted to as an output file. Um, that would be good. And it would be, if I click off of here, it'll practically, it'll tell me, oh, do you want to save these contents? Um, you know, I could hit cancel and I can just minimize this for now. And maybe I want to do some other statistics and I'll just add to that output file. But if I want to save it and put it on my file exchange or something like that, or save it to my uh, computer or somewhere, um, yeah, I can do that. I can also save the actual data file. Right? So this is just an idea, uh, an example of how you would create a data set and then how you would uh, uh, do some descriptive statistics with it. And I hope this helps. There's also a document that you can follow through to um, uh, and read again if you'd rather do that um, as you're creating your own data set. Once you save your data set, you can then upload that for your assignment as well if, if um, we're planning to do that. Thanks. I think that's it for now.